welcome back to our GMNC show. With me in studio is our Miss Belito segment, our beautiful Chantal Sushon from our Miss Belito finalist. Chantal, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. No, it's only a pleasure. You're drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> Chantal, tell me a bit about the Miss Belito experience so far. Uh, the Miss Belito experience has definitely been an exciting journey. I've really enjoyed getting to know a lot of new girls who have entered the competition as well. Yeah. I've also been able to speak to a lot more people in the community. Uh, going around, getting your, putting yourself out there has been a really exciting journey. And um, I just really enjoyed it so far. Oh, Miss Eve, and also to put yourself out there is very daunting, isn't it? Yes, and I think with a lot of girls, there's so many opportunities and great things that can come from entering the Miss Belito competition. And I think a lot of girls, there's so many exact, exciting things that come from it. You get to meet a whole bunch of people, do sponsors, get in touch with your community. Uh, but a lot of things that's a big thing that stops the girls from doing it is actually the fear and anxiety from entering. Most a definitely. lot of girls are scared of putting themselves out yeah. there, which um, I think that's exactly when you should put yourself out there because the whole journey is to grow your confidence and actually get out there and um, put yourself out there and try new things. So I wouldn't let the fear and anxiety stop you from doing something great with new opportunities. And it's really good that you're saying that. I mean, you said to me off air that you've never done modeling before and look at you. Yes, you know, no. you're glowing, you're having fun. And what I know about Karen and Heidi, the organizers of the Miss Belito event, I mean, they really are hands on and they take you from one space to a complete different space and mold and transform all these women. That's very true. So I, Micheline and I spoke about it and we both, at first we were like, no, we haven't done modeling before, we're not going to enter. And then afterwards we spoke about it and we're like, modeling, you can learn how to model, but actually helping and putting yourself out there and your character, that you can't learn how to do. That is just something you're gifted with. Uh, so we decided to try and go out and share our experience and our knowledge and things with everyone else and helping the community because there's a lot of great things you can do. But the biggest thing that stops people from doing it is the fear. For me, it was the modeling. I was like, no, 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 I haven't done that. It's good, <laughs> thank you. But I think it's great to put yourself out there and try new things because at the end of the day, we can learn how to model. Oh, um, most so definitely. And I know Karen guides you guys so beautifully as yes. well. And there's nothing for you to fear about it. <laughs> <laughs> so Chantal, tell me a bit about your cause that you're involved in. So I have teamed up with Glide and Ride. Uh, which is a company that teaches kids from the age of two years old all the way up to 13 years old how to ride a bicycle. Um, so it's been a great cause and I've been involved with them ever since I moved to Belito. And I teamed up with them too. We went to school, Cezanne Combined Primary School, and I asked them, we did a walk around the school because I originally wanted to do a vegetable garden. Um, but due with the whole floods and things, we decided it was best to go with a grade R foundation phase fencing. Uh, because of the floods, the fencing Shame. has fallen down. So we're wanting to rebuild the fencing and get a new gate to keep the great R's safe there. What a beautiful cause. I mean, that's really a stunning cause. And how can we donate to your cause? So we have got the donations are available on, I have a poster where it's got the Glenn Rad account details where you can donate some money towards it. Um, or if there is anyone that is willing to donate fencing, that would be great. We are working with a fencing company Raw Fencing, who's going to help us and give us advice with the fencing uh, to put up for the great arts to make sure it's strong and safe um, for next time if there's more floods. What a beautiful driving yes. caution. So I wish you all the best with that. And then I do know you are a twin. Yes. Tell me about the both of yours journey so far. I mean, both have been very supportive of each other. It's been really great to have one another to help each other and just put yourself, yourself out there. We are posting our journey on the Twins in Transit um, Instagram account. So we're both sharing an account where we can um, share our experience and let people um, get involved with our experience with helping us with the community drives and everything there. So it's been really great to have her to support me. I think it also takes a lot more of the fear like off my back because Most I know that she's thinking. in the same boat and a lot of the girls are all in the same boat. Yeah. So it's really great to have a best friend to do it through. Absolutely uh, lovely. And I love the name, Twins and Transit. <laughs> Guys, go and follow them, watch their journey and support them. And then in closing, Chantal, what is it that you wish to achieve from the whole Miss Belito journey? Um, my goal is to achieve personal growth and confidence. 
I think being a twin, a lot of the time you get shattered by each other. A lot yeah. of people compare you guys against each other. So it's really great. I get with this Miss Belita, a lot more people are comparing us against each other because we're both in running for of it. Of course, of course. Um, but I think it's really great just to do something for yourself and just to put yourself out there and try your best because a lot of this has to do with your character and personality. Um, so I would really like to, I think my goal is to put myself out there and actually help out in the community and uh, spread positivity. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful cause. Well, Chantal, I wish you all the best. Like I said in the beginning, you are drop-dead gorgeous. And may you guys grow and have a prosperous journey here at Miss Belita. I do know it's a lovely journey that you guys are being taken through. Go and follow Chantal and her twin sister, Mish, on Twins and Transit on Instagram. Give them your support and please donate to her cause. It really is a heartwarming cause. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to go into an ad break and after the ad break we've got the drive times with Santos Khan.